the Secretary of Defense, Lloyd Austin, made an unexpected visit to the Ukrainian capital to show support for Ukraine and express confidence in their ability to fight against Russian forces. Austin even suggested that Ukrainian forces would become more aggressive in their fight throughout the winter. However, there are concerns about the future of U.S. military aid to Ukraine, with some Republicans wanting to halt support. During his visit, Austin appealed to Congress to approve additional funding, emphasizing that it is a smart investment in U.S. security. He stated that it is crucial to prevent a world where a dictator can wake up one day and decide to annex the property of a peaceful neighbor. The success of Ukraine's fight against the enemy will largely depend on the continuation of U.S. military aid, including ammunition. The Biden administration is working with Congress to secure a broader funding deal that would provide additional support to Ukraine. However, the ongoing conflict in the Middle East has put additional pressure on weapons supplies. Prior to Austin's trip, it was reported that U.S. deliveries of NATO standard artillery shells to Ukraine had decreased by more than 30 percent since the start of Israel's war against Hamas in Gaza. These artillery shells are crucial for Ukraine's fight against Russian forces, and some U.S. stocks designated for Ukraine have been diverted to Israel. Ukrainian officials expressed concern about the impact of this diversion on their supplies. U.S. officials have denied any link between the supply of munitions to Israel and the war in Ukraine. However, Ukrainian officials claim that the reduction in supplies has affected their ability to fight effectively. During his visit, Austin announced a new $100 million security aid package for Ukraine, which includes an unspecified number of NATO standard artillery shells. This aid package is being drawn from existing funding approved by Congress. But the available funds are running low. Despite receiving support from Western partners, Russia still has significant advantages on the battlefield, including more artillery firepower, explosive attack drones, and superior fighter jets and attack helicopters. In recent weeks, Russian forces have launched significant attacks on Ukrainian positions, trying to gain the upper hand. Ukraine's top general described the war as being at a stalemate, and there are concerns about the availability of weapons supplies. Ukrainian officials warn that without basic munitions, they risk losing their position on the battlefield at a high cost. 